Greetings and salutations, and as you can tell by my sunburnt face, the bags under my eyes, and the fact that I've nearly lost my voice, we are back from the Witchwood Festival. And I've got to tell you guys, the entire weekend was incredible. I mean, outstanding weekend from top to bottom. And that's all down to the team at Witchwood. Everyone was amazing. From the stewards, the security guards, the vendors. Vendors could not have had more. I mean, you had vintage clothes, merch. Me and Vic, we stuffed our faces. You had fish and chips, tacos, burritos, nachos. Then you had like noodles, donuts, milkshakes, coffees. We literally must have put on about five stone while we were there just by eating at the vendors. And I've got to give a shout out to Gordon's Gin as well. I don't drink. I've not drank now for about a year and a half and they were just giving away uh, alcohol-free booze. I barely paid for a drink all weekend because I'm alcohol free. So big shout out to Gardens Gin for all those gin and tonics and everything. They were amazing. Anyway, so yeah, but um, the team at Witchwood was incredible. And especially, I've got to give a shout out to Linz, Sasha, Sully, the team that took care of us and the press. Outstanding. These guys do festivals better than anybody up and down the country. And for them, their summer's only just starting. I mean, they've got the likes of what? Elon Park Live in Norwich. There to fire. That's going to be on the 8th and 9th of June. Rochester Castle Live, 5th and 7th of July. Kisteri and Upton in Blackheath, that's in London. They're going to be doing that on the 27th and 28th of July. Um, Reminiscence Festival in Liverpool, September 7th. I'm going to try and go to that one because that's pretty close to us. Kisteri and Upton in Cardiff, that's September. At the end of summer, September 14th and 15th. Like I said, these guys do incredible festivals up and down the country. None better than Witchwood and Witchwood 2025 tickets and now on sale. I've got to tell you, if you're going to pick a festival next year, make it Witchwood. Especially if you've got kids. It's so family friendly. There's so much stuff on to do as a family. And the place was spotless. Got to shout out to the whole Witchwood team. But you don't want to hear about that. You want to hear about the lineup and the bands. And I've got to tell you, it was friggin' insane. The whole lineup. I mean, the highlights, the likes of the Coral, Dexies, Future Heads. You've got uh, Zangwills, um, Ocean Colour Scene. These were all just as good as you would have thought. These were all great, great bands. But the highlights of the whole weekend. Now, I wasn't expecting it. Me and Vic took our uh, place up the front for Stereo MCs because I'm like, Stereo MCs rings a bell. I think I know a couple of their tunes. They come on and they got the place lit. I swear to God, they nearly stole the whole weekend. I got like, gonna get yourself connected. I was just buzzing. Seriously, Stereo MCs. They were incredible. And then moving on, Lightning Seeds got everyone singing. I've never seen a band get that many people all on their side. I mean, that's where I lost my voice. It closed with Three Lions, a song that made me fall in love with the Lightning Seeds in 1996 when I was, what, nine? Uh, and yeah, the whole crowd was singing Three Lions. I lost my voice. Lightning Seeds were just as good as you would think. And I've got to mention Texas, they closed Saturday night. Texas. I mean, most bands that you see at festivals, you'll know three, four songs if you're lucky. I mean, they always do great sets, but you'll probably know three or four songs. Texas. Every single song. I swear to God, they were on for about an hour and a half, closing Saturday. Every single song they did for an hour and a half was a banger. And you know every Texas song. If you go to Spotify and put on Texas, you'll know every single song, even if you don't think you do. Texas were absolutely outstanding. I mean, incredible Texas. Charlene Spateri, that girl should have been a stand-up if she wasn't going to be a singer. She had the crowd in the middle of her hand. She is amazing, Charlene Spateri. And I've got to talk about someone. Now, I have never heard of C6 Steve. Now, me and Vic, we were there Saturday and Sunday, and we were driving back and coming back again because we're pretty close to Cheltenham. So, Saturday night, we're driving back home, uh, one in the morning, <laughs> Uh, my battery runs out, so there's no Spotify, so I can't listen to Steps, Fenger Boys, S Club 7. That's usually my Spotify playlist. Vic's like, well, I've got the C6 Steve album. I'll put it on, because he's playing tomorrow. I was like, yeah, no worries. It can't hurt to listen to it. i got to tell you, anybody that doesn't know who C6 Steve is, go watch him, and you will be a fan. This guy is incredible. Literally, looks like he's from a friggin' film like Deliverance, lives out in the bayous, like this hillbilly guy. He comes out and he's made his guitar, his, uh, what do you call it? Uh, diddly bow. His diddly bow is made out of a two by four, a hook cap off a car, a bunch of strings, and he's playing these things on stage, and he owned the 
the whole weekend. Like I said, I was thinking Texas, Lightning Sea, the Coral, Ocean Colour Sea. I was buzzing for those bands. I never imagined this guy, C16, would steal the whole weekend. He was absolutely incredible. Massive shout out to C16. Like I said, I've got to say a massive thank you to the whole team, uh, which would the amazing bands. Like I said, this is our first festival. We were backstage talking to people as they were coming off, shaking hands, you know, having drinks with them and stuff like that. They couldn't have been better. I mean, a lot of them could have just got back on the coach, shot straight off. They all stopped, said hi, shook our hands. We had a chat with them. Incredible. All so humble, so nice. We can't wait to do our next festival. But we have got more live events before we get to festivals. Next one, June 16th. No, 19th. June 16th is Father's Day in England are playing. That's why I've got that in my head. June 19th, we are going to watch um, Six Chicks Flicks, the stage show. We're going to the sales show just outside the Trafford Centre on June 19th. But these two girls are touring right now and they do a stage show all about Titanic, Pretty Woman, Dirty Dancing. Amazing. I can't wait to see that. It's going to be the funniest thing ever. And then in July, I'm going to say the 5th to the 7th. If I got that wrong, I'm sorry. But I know it's going to be the first weekend in July. It's London Film and Comic Con. I'm going to be down there filming some stuff, talking to some stars. But what you have to do is get over to Facebook and find us. I'll put a link down below in the description. Because when we're at these events, like all weekend at the Witchwood, we were live streaming. We were putting up photos. We were talking to people. And you, that's where you're going to find it. You're not going to find highlights and videos of that kind of thing here on YouTube. Obviously, I'll pop on here occasionally to say, here's the uh, newest live events we're going to. But if you want to see us at these things, you need to go to Facebook and follow us on Facebook and like and share and subscribe and all that shite. Amazing thing is you guys have already done a lot of this. The subscriptions from this weekend only went up because we met people at these things like festivals. The bigger the channel gets, the more live events we get invited to. We made amazing contact at the Sugar Mill. Can't speak highly enough of Adam and uh, Taz at the Sugar Mill. They've invited us back for more events there as well. I'll be announcing some more live events once we get out of June and July. But yeah, this doesn't happen without your support, guys. So like, share, subscribe, comment on the videos, join the YouTube. Seriously, more and more people that see this and join the Facebook thing, the more and more things we get invited to attend. And you know, we can. Um, Obviously, relay that back to you guys. One last thing to mention before I go, because like I said, I am knackered. <laughs> Witchwood Festival was incredible, but it's took it out of me. I'm too old to be staying at festivals all weekend. But I just want to mention a new member of the team, Vic. Now, Vic's a great friend, but he's going to be joining us um, as part of our live uh, events team. He's going to be working the camera for us, and he's going to be the live event organiser or coordinator. We haven't really discussed the title yet. But yeah, thank you to Vic for helping us. And he's now going to join the team. Like I said, we're now going to be doing the YouTube channel. We've got the Facebook page. We're doing live events. And there may be a podcast in the future. I'm not nailing that down yet. The podcast thing has been discussed. I know a lot of people, Spotify, Apple Playlist, and your Amazon Music, prefer to listen to podcasts now rather than going on YouTube. So we are discussing it. But we're building a team to do it with. Like I said, I know some incredible uh, content creators. I know incredible people that have been in bands and things like that. It's just putting the team together, sorting out the schedule, and actually figuring out how to do it. But yeah, podcasts may be a thing in the future. But for now, we've got live events. We've got the Facebook page. We've got the YouTube channel. We need your help. Get on Facebook. Get on YouTube. Subscribe, like, all that shit. Anyway, I've said that. I'll leave it at that. I'm going to go get some rest. But thank you again to the team at Witchwood. Thank you to all the bands all the comedians, all the vendors, everyone that was at Witchwood, all of you who came over and chatted to us uh, and just, you know, we had a beer together. You were all incredible and made the weekend so memorable. So, yeah, we'll catch you on the next live event. Um, we're going to go back to doing some normal YouTube stuff. I'm going to be doing top 10 favourites soon. I'm thinking it's going to be Disney live movies. So if you love things like Cool Runnings, you know, uh, Heavyweights, High School Musical, Hocus Pocus, that's probably going to be the less for you. And then maybe I'm going to try and sneak in a sports video. Now, England kick off the Euros in a couple of weeks. I know this channel's not really made for sports, but we, we've all grown up loving things like Michael Jordan, Michael Schumacher, Wayne Gretzky. You know, we loved Alan Shearer growing up and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm going to try and do a sports video of some sort before the Euros start. If I don't, we'll just be live streaming when we're all getting rat-arsed. 
in the pub chair in England on singing free line. So yeah, thank you so much, guys. I'm going to shoot off because I've been rambling for the last two minutes. Take care. All best. Peace out.